All right, so um, today I am going to be doing some solar dyeing because it's actually nice and sunny out here. So I have um, two 50 gram skeins of superwash merino, 75% uh, superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% silver stellina. And then I have four uh, 10 gram mini skeins of the same um the same wool and i've pre-soaked them in vinegar and water that's what you see right here and i am just going to kind of lock these out a bit and start applying my dye and then um we are going to add some ice at the end and uh set it in the sun and the sun will act as our uh heat source um, which is pretty, pretty magical. Um, really cool that it works that way. And then, so it's kind of like as close to ice dyeing as you can get, or as close to the kind of ice dyeing as I do with cotton that you can get with, uh, wool if you don't have a way to steam set it. So... I'm starting with Forest Green from Dharma, and I'm moving into some Sea Glass. Sea Glass is one of my favorite Dharma colors. I put kind of a fair amount of that in there. I really like it. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to throw in some of the famed Strawberry Skies from Happy Cat Tie-Dye. Um, Happy Cat is absolutely amazing. And you know, Strawberry Skies isn't even my favorite one of her dyes, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really excited to try this as a solar dye and see what kind of splits we can get because um you know dyeing in water with dyes that are meant for um ice dyeing you don't get you know the same effect really um so i'm hoping that we'll see some similar kinds of splits as we would with um, ice dyeing cotton doing it this way. Okay. Oops, sorry for the baby crying in there. He's in his bouncer. I'll take a look. Okay. Thank you. He probably just needs his bank. Okay. And now we're just going to add our ice. gloves here and I am wearing my mask and don't worry my baby in there is nice and far away from the powdered bag he's actually inside he's just um, I have the screen door open so that I can hear him okay we're gonna pack as much of this ice on here as we can and then we're going to put the lid on and we're going to go leave it in the sun. And, um, yeah. Hopefully it will be hot enough today to, uh, oh, I still have some water and vinegar down at the bottom there. We'll see what happens with that. Hey, buddy. If I can cram these last few pieces of ice in here. Bet I can. Ooh. Maybe that wasn't such a great idea, but we're gonna see what happens. Okay. And then the remnants of this dye will be used to dye uh, something else. 
um, later in the week. Maybe I should take some out. Oh, it's already fine. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hang on just a second. Okay, and now I'm gonna go leave this in the sun over on my patio over there, and that's gonna be that. We'll be back later. So my solar dying didn't really work out because it didn't get warm enough outside today, but we have this big funky old furnace on our floor here, and um, so I brought my jar, my ball jar, inside and set it on the furnace for a while um, and as you can see the dye bath has completely cleared this totally worked to heat set my yarn um, the jar is hot um, so yeah that's just really cool um, I will be back to film the washout all right so here we are back with our solar dyed heater dyed yarn um, let's see what we've got. I'm kind of expecting there to be some runoff from the strawberry skies because in my experience this dye goes absolutely everywhere. But we will see. The water in the jar is looking pretty clear. So that's a good sign. There's actually no remnants to be used. The uh, dye did not travel as far down the yarn as I thought it would. We'll see what this looks like when it's dry. I might want to um, over dye it a little bit. Um, looks like we might have a tiny bit of blue runoff. I'm gonna reuse that vinegar water. Okay, let's rinse this out. looking like I should have added a little bit more of the uh, forest green and sea glass I think the strawberry skies really took over which is what I wanted but um, then you can see down at the bottom of the yarn here the uh, forest green and sea glass pretty much just stayed where I put it um, it didn't really travel that much I think because um, dye strikes so fast on this yarn already and then I had a lot of uh, vinegar in there I soaked it in vinegar and then I didn't wring it out all that well um, before I put it in the other jar from its uh, from its soap jar so I think that um, the vinegar water that it was sitting in at the bottom just didn't really allow the dye to travel. I think it just struck the yarn where it struck and there's just a ton of pigment in that part of the yarn. Um, it is really pretty. It's got some very interesting tones. Maybe I won't over dye this. Maybe I'll reskeen it and just see how I like it. There's no bleeding, which is really cool. I really didn't expect that with uh, Strawberry Skies. Um, usually anytime, I mean, I've only ever used it on cotton, but um, usually anytime I use Strawberry Skies, I end up with a ton of bleeding. It seems like it never wants to wash out. Um, it did get some cool color breaking, color splitting in here. Um, some pinks, some kind of, uh, some obviously deep blues and purples that we all know, but there's some oranges and there's some lighter blues. Yeah. And then here's the sea glass right around here. And then down into the forest green at the bottom, which like I said, just kind of didn't go anywhere. It just stayed in one place. I think what I might end up doing 
is um, dip dyeing over this yarn. But we'll see when it dries how I like it. finished yarn um this one was the solar dye um we ended up not getting enough heat um, <laughs> for these to actually solar dye in the jar um it just became a bit of a mess of color but I brought it in and I sat it on our furnace like you saw and that did the trick um I didn't need to add any extra vinegar and I didn't need to add any extra heat outside of that I did not need to steam set these in a steamer or heat set these in the microwave. I just put them, I just left them in the jar and put them on top of our heater. Um, I mean, obviously that's not going to work if you don't have a big old floor furnace, but I am lucky and I have a big old floor, floor furnace. Um, a lot of people wouldn't consider that very lucky <laughs> um, in a lot of ways because it's kind of inefficient, but in this particular case, it's quite lucky. So these came out really interesting. Um, I wasn't really sure if I liked them at first. Uh, there was a lot of white space, and there is a lot of white space, but seeing them all twisted up like this, I think they're gorgeous. Um, I can see a lot of potential in this. I may end up keeping one of these little mini skeins for myself, again, to uh, crochet up like a sample of something, because I really want to see how this... Uh, colorway kind of is an action. Um, the strawberry skies did do a fair amount of splitting. You can see here some of the different pinks. You can see if I bring it up, you can see there's even some kind of like mild speckling. There's some of the peaches in here. A lot of it's just the deep blue, but it did give us quite a fair amount of color variation. And then this yellow here came from, I think, the forest green. And you can see where it kind of blended with the strawberry skies. And then we've got some of this fallout here that's um, very pale blue. We've got some blending here with the sea glass, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love sea glass paired with uh, strawberry skies. It's one of my favorite combinations. Um, in this one, you can see more of the forest green. It split in a way that I am uh, not used to it splitting. This is more what I'm used to seeing from forest green. This <laughs> is not. <laughs> it's um, very yellow and very bright and very almost neon, but I really like it. Um, yeah, this this came out. This came out prettier than I thought. When I was rinsing this out at the sink, I thought, oh my gosh, what have I done? Um, I'm going to have to over dye this. I was thinking, <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, again, you know, once it's all twisted up into its hank and it's all dried and I can see it with... The different colors kind of twisted together like this which kind of gives you a little bit different of it a little bit more of an idea how it would look um in use um i really like it oh here you can see wow this is my favorite thing when strawberry skies splits into these peach tones that's my favorite um it's gorgeous and then over here we actually have some of the like yellow green breakdown that it does sometimes 
Um, I've had Strawberry Skies split in so many different ways um, on me. And this one has a little bit of everything, um, which is really cool. I love it. Um, I think it came out beautifully. Show each one of these up close. It's very, very variegated. It's not at all repeating. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, this is one of those things where if I was doing this in a more controlled way, like I usually have done with like tie dye and stuff, I would never have <laughs> created something that looked quite like this. But that's the whole fun. That's why this is all a big grand experiment because you never know what you're going to get. And that is honestly the best, the best part is the mystery. All right, um, if you like this video, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of this solar dyeing. Um, probably gonna do more of it because it was absolutely fascinating. Um, and I love the idea that I can use um, the sun as a heat source. That's just very exciting to me. Um, yeah, let me know if you like this video. Let me know what colors you'd like to see me try or if you'd like to see me try this on different types of yarn. Um, yeah, um, if you are interested in purchasing any of this colorway, it will be listed on my Etsy just with everything else. And, uh, you know, once again, like I keep saying, if there is something that you want to do in the world of crafting, you don't need a bunch of fancy equipment or a bunch of know-how. All you need is a dream in your heart and a desire to put that dream into motion. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope you all um, follow your hearts today. Do something that makes you happy. Um, and that's it. Peace out.